the ARCS model. John Keller is Professor Emeritus at Florida State University and developer of the ARCS model. Keller felt that motivation was a neglected area of instructional design. Since the late 70s, Keller has focused his research and practice on improving motivation in instructional design. Keller's ARCS model has four categories. These four categories are attention, relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. Each of these four categories contains three subcategories as shown in the table. Attention. Attention is frequently interpreted as a preliminary step in the learning process, limited to the introduction. Within the ARCS model, however, emphasis is placed not only on generating attention, but also sustaining it. In the ARCS model, attention is split into three categories, perceptual arousal, inquiry arousal, and variability. Perceptual arousal is the use of surprise or uncertainty to gain interest. Perceptual arousal can be accomplished with strategies that stimulate a learner's senses or emotions. Inquiry arousal activates a learner's curiosity through the use of challenging questions or problems. Inquiry arousal can be accomplished by creating paradoxes, generating inquiries, and by encouraging debate. Variability can be achieved in a variety of ways. Changing speakers, using different presentation styles, using multimedia, or by adding a video or activity can all add variability. Another way to include variability can be incorporating small changes in format, including changes in font, spacing, and layout. Relevance. For adult learners, it is necessary to know why they need to learn something before starting a course or lesson. Conveying relevance can be accomplished in three ways. Goal orientation, motive matching, and familiarity. Goal orientation matching is whether or not learners believe a course or lesson will satisfy their personal or career goals or if it meets the needs of their job. Motive matching can be accomplished by providing learners with choices. Another way to establish relevance is through familiarity. Familiarity is connecting prior skills and knowledge with the lesson to be learned. Confidence. There are numerous ways in which instructors might build learners' confidence. Conveying the learning requirements, providing opportunities for success, and allowing the students to feel that they have some personal control are all ways to build confidence. To feel confidence, learners need to feel as if they can reach their objective. To do this, instructors can provide rubrics, objectives, and practice opportunities. Also, instructors can create pep talk videos or emphasize that students are on the right track. Instructors can also send targeted emails to struggling students to foster confidence by emphasizing to these students that they are not the first to experience difficulty when learning challenging content. Satisfaction. It is important that learners are satisfied with their instruction. Satisfaction can be achieved through intrinsic reinforcement, extrin extrinsic rewards, and equity. Intrinsic reinforcement can come from allowing students to provide feedback on course material. Another way to affect a student's satisfaction is through the use of feedback. Providing fast recognition on correct answers and good works serves this purpose well. Equity is established by using the provided objectives and rubrics to evaluate students. Evaluating students fairly leads to student satisfaction. 